Hey, welcome back to BedSquid. Uh, just a quick tutorial, it's a live demonstration. I'm just gonna show you how you can connect a computer or an iPad to a projector. Okay, and then really this video is for hybrid learning. If you have a blended classroom where you're teaching students live in the classroom, as well as uh, online. So how can you demonstrate your activity that's projected on the classroom projector, as well as uh, live stream on your Google Meet? This was for a colleague, so shout out to Sebastian, uh, and let's get on with this. So I'm gonna get assistance from my good friend here, uh, Mr. Sen, and he's just gonna be showing us this demo. Now we are keeping socially distanced, so I'm gonna be walking around just to show you what's going on here, yeah? So we'll go to Google Meet, and while he's doing it there, he is connected to the projector, okay, using an Apple TV. So he's using an Apple TV and he's connected via AirPlay. Now I'm just gonna show you here on the screen what's going on. He's going to his Google Meet, okay? Remember, I am keeping my social distance from him. So he just typed in here, Google Meet, and he's simply just gonna go ahead and um, start a new meeting, okay? So let's see if we can get this focus right. I'll, I'll talk you through it anyway. Uh, if you pause here, sir. So right here, Google Meet gives you an option to um, start a meeting with a class code, with a nickname. You can put in a nickname here and students can just put in that same nickname as long as they're on your domain, okay? So as long as you're, they're on your school domain, they can put this nickname in. So here he's typing in math lesson one, yeah, one, whatever. So press on continue. So students can use that um, nickname. So here we go, he's connecting through his computer, his, his Mac, okay? Which is connected through AirPlay on the projector straight onto the screen, okay? We're gonna start and we're gonna join this meeting. So he's gonna hit on join meeting. So here we go, we've start, we started this meeting. Here's the share code. He can go ahead and share that on Google Classroom with his participants, with his students, okay? Or parents or whoever is gonna be joining this meeting. So go ahead and let's get rid of that. You don't need that. Now, this is where we are. We are at this stage now. Let me talk to you here, yeah? Okay. So we're, we're at a stage where you could either connect, uh, if you've got a Mac and you've got Apple TV, you can connect wirelessly, or you can connect via the VGA or the HDMI to your projector, to your class projector. Now they've pulled off all the cables, so I can't show you that, but it will work in the same principle, okay? So if you've got a Dell computer or HP or whatever, Lenovo, uh, you can just connect your HDMI or uh, your um, VGA to the computer, uh, and then project your screen, okay? So here we go. Here's where the magic happens now. So he is now projecting his front-facing camera um, while he's in class and he has a blended classroom. Now I've got a wide lens. It seems I'm close to him, I'm not. We're, we are observing social, um, physical distancing. We're two, minute, two meters apart, we've got our masks on, okay? So that's all good. So here we go. What uh, Sen's gonna do right now is he's gonna come down to here and he's gonna press on um, present now, okay? He's gonna present his screen. He's got these options, and it says here, um, share your entire screen. So he's gonna go ahead and say, share entire screen. And then it gives him this option here. He's gonna select this, and you need to click on it, and then pre press on share, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. Now, at this point, it's gonna start sharing the screen. Here we go, it says uh, that, you know, you're presenting to everyone. So now that he's presenting to everyone, he can go ahead and go to the tab that he wants to go to. So for example, we were sharing a document, okay? Um, just go to anything, yeah. Okay, here we go, so he's sharing a document, and perhaps, so perhaps this is a reading comprehension task, okay, this is the text that the students need to read, um, and you know, feedback to the teacher. Now here's the benefit of doing this, okay? He's projecting this on the board, so all the students in his blended classroom can obviously, um, practicing social distancing whenever that uh, happens around the world. So yeah, so they can see what he's presenting. Now this is a text here, okay? It could be a passage, it could be a, a math a worksheet or whatever it may be. At the same time, students who are at home can see this on their screen, okay? They can go ahead and join that meeting code as long as they're on the same domain and they can, uh, they can see this on the screen, okay? So they can't see his face because his webcam is not obviously active now because he's sharing this entire screen with uh, his students online. 
Uh, and that's how you can do a blended classroom, okay? That's how you can do a blended classroom. You can present using Google Meets via your classroom projector to your live students in the classroom, as well as sharing this, okay, on um, your web conference, okay, via the share option. Now, you can do this with any application. It doesn't need to be Google Meets. You can do it on Zoom. You can do it on WebEx. It works uh, using the same principle, okay? Uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope you did find that helpful. Consider sharing this content with your colleagues so that they can upskill and support our students and parent community. Um, as always, I'll see you in the next one.